Hi everyone, it's your girl Felicia. Hi Felicia. I got a taste for some cheese grits and shrimp and we're going to make a sauce for it. It is delicious and I know you will love it yourself. With no delays, let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare my grits. Um, any kind of grits you want to use, whether they're quick grits or old-fashioned grits. I love to use the old-fashioned grits. And I got my water already in my pot. And I'm going to put a little salt in for my grits. Don't want to put too much. My water's a little warm. And I'm going to add me some grits in. I'm not measuring it. This is going to be enough for me and my husband. Maybe about one cup. And while this um, water is warm, you want to stir. And one thing is about grits. I do know different people cook them different ways. But for me, I make butter grits, sometimes I make grits, and I add a gravy with it, or cheese. Some people use white grits, yellow grits, but these will be considered white. And whenever I do, if I do use quick grits, Y'all don't cook those grits for five minutes. They don't be done. I cook them no longer. And with these old-fashioned grits, they're going to cook longer than five minutes. But um, when you're making your grits, you want to make sure that you stir for at least about the first minute of it. Because you don't want your grits to start sticking to the bottom of the, of the, of the pot. And also grits, to me, have a texture. Well, you know they're done. If they still look raw, they're they're not they're not done. But if they look start looking creamy, that's when you know they're done. Some people way underly cook their grits. I have been to some restaurants that had grits, and they were undercooked. I can look at them and tell them. I can tell grit good grits. I can somebody can have a picture of grits online, and the way they look. I know they cook them grits to perfection. They're going to be some good grits. They know some grits I look at it. That's day one done. I have been brought some grits. Eating out. And I already looked at it. I said these grits are not even cooked good. And they weren't. So make sure your grits are cooked. Depends on how much grits you're going to use. I love grits. And sometimes you can add in, but as you go, sometimes I can just tell that it's going to probably be enough. So we're going to just have um, cheese grits and shrimp with a little sauce. And so... I know I've been stirring this over a minute, but you want to constantly, every now and then, be stirring your grits. And I'm going to turn these down. Allow almost like between them. Medium, low. And sometimes, you know, if I want to have butter grits, I'm going to add my butter now. But these are... You can't add butter and cheese at the same time. But I'll be adding my cheese when the grits are almost done. I won't add my cheese now, so I'm going to cover it up with a lid. And I'm going to leave a little, um, I'm not going to cover it all the way. If it had a little hole in here, it would be good. But you want to just, like, let some steam off while it's cooking. And I'm covering it up because one thing about grits, when they start bubbling, getting hot, it pop everywhere. And, um... I turned it down, and now I'm going to get ready to start on um, my um, bacon. I'm going to do my bacon in the skillet and my shrimp. 
So I'm going to move this camera over to the next one. I'll be back while these grits are clicking. Okay, I got my skillet getting ready to get hot for this bacon. I came across this bacon at a store, and look how it looks. This is some pretty bacon, isn't it? It is a center cut, butcher cut, shoulder bacon. And it is pretty. So, I'm going to cook this bacon. That's some pretty bacon, y'all. It smells so good. And I like the way that, you know, the way the fat is. It got a lot of meat on it. And this is my first time today trying this bacon. I had this bacon in the freezer and I bought it. I had it in the freezer. And I said, well, I got to cook this bacon soon. Um, Cause like in the mornings we don't eat a whole lot of bacon and stuff like that, you know. My husband he um he have his teas in the morning, and I have other little stuff like I have my um special breads and my um eggs or something different, you know. We don't eat grits and bacon and eggs and stuff like that every morning, which I love it. But you know, sometimes you have to have that certain stuff every now and then. But this bacon, good, good. So I'm going to cook this until it's very crispy. You want to cook your bacon crispy. And I will be back. Oh, yes. And for your, your grits, make sure... You have some water to the side ready because once it starts getting a little dry, you want to always put water, more water into your grits until they're finished cooking. Okay, I'm time for me to remove this bacon. And I turned my stove out, set this bacon aside. And now we're going to get ready to um, add our shrimp in. So I'm going to add this shrimp. And we're just going to let this shrimp cook about one or two minutes. We don't want it to cook completely. Because we got to put this um, shrimp back in the skillet. I got to check on my own um, grits. Make sure I stir that one and turn it on low. So we don't want the grits to burn up. And we don't want it to dry out. So I'm going to turn this stove back on. We're going to let the shrimp cook. Make sure it's on all sides. About one to two minutes. And that's going to be on each side. So I'm going to cook it on about maybe one, maybe one and a half minute on each side. So this is how it's looking. I done flipped it over. So that's where I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to take these shrimp out and keep them warm. Just put it to the side. Okay, now we're ready to add in our other ingredients to make the sauce. We're going to add in our onion. And I'm just going to stir this around like this. 
And we're going to let this cook until it starts softening up. Once that gets softened, then we're going to add in our garlic, our minced garlic. So this sauce is, um, I came across this online, and I said I want to try this sauce with my, um, with my grits, my cheese grits, because I do have one that I have on my own, and you know, sometimes you see stuff different, you want to try it, or, you know, make it your own, and it's not all the ingredients that I've seen. It's just some ingredients I didn't add. So, um, and when you're doing stuff like that, you can use fresh parsley. You can, but I'm going to use, I won't be using any fresh parsley. But when sometimes when you're, when you're, um, trying new recipes, even the one I share, make it your own. You can add stuff, take away from it, whatever. Sometimes some people are allergic to certain things. and Don't add it if you're allergic to certain things. And, and yes, when I tried this new bacon that I'm trying, it didn't really have any fat on it. So I did have to add a little olive oil to it so it can cook, so I can get it crispy like I want it. If I put in the air fryer, it probably would it really, really good. But, um, I didn't. So that's a little sauce. And now I'm going to add this garlic to it. I hope you all enjoyed your day. I did because I feel very much better. I'm going to turn this down a little. I did have it on medium high. Turn it down on medium low because I don't want it to burn. Add as much garlic and onion to it if you want. You don't have to add. When I add it, you don't have to add all that to it. Add whatever you feel like. And I'm going to check on my grits again. I got to stir them. They are about done. They looking... Very creamy, that texture, what I'm looking for. These grits been cooking the whole time that I've been cooking. I'm going to get ready to add my cheese in a little bit. But I make sure I got it on low and make sure you need to check your water. And I did add my water about twice. Turn this all the way down low. And now we're going to add our cornstarch. You're going to add that over the onion and the garlic. And then we're going to cook that for an additional minute. I'm just going to stir it over there a little. And, um, I don't have, if I did, a plastic whisk, I'm going to have to get me one. I got one, I don't know where that I look for it, and I'm not going to use my, um, that metal whisk in my nonstick skillet because I don't want to tear it up. And I'm going to add in my chicken stock. You want to whisk it in, but I'm going to 
You still spill the brush, and I'm a brush man. Like I say, I don't want to own. Um, I don't want to mess up the skillet. I may have used that whisk a little bit. Because it's not whisking up like I want it to. I do not want to scrape up my pan, y'all. Yeah. That's sort of a little bit. Let me break out this spoon. I get a hard spatula. That car starts sort of thicken it. I'm gonna turn the seat up a little bit. And we're gonna just let this get a little thicker. For the year 2024, I want you all to stay encouraged and stay safe. Stay in prayer. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself. Um, and if you have goals you want to set, set them. And just because of last year, if it hadn't been a good year for you, don't give up. Because I know last year we had some things we had to go through and I just kept trusting God, me and my husband both. And sometimes you're going through stuff and I had some friends that had got some bad diagnosis when they were sick with cancer or anything and staying in prayer for them as they pray for me also. So now it's sticking up a little, and then I want to start, I want to add in my heavy whipping cream. That would be next. So I'm adding this whipping cream. Stir this in. looking good whisk it in but I didn't um use the full recipe because it's just enough grits for me and my husband and I just decided to add half of what that recipe you call for if it said three I use one and a half Said one half cup of heavy whipping cream. I decided to use one. Turn this on low, y'all. I gotta check my grits again. My grits are ready for me to add my cheese in, y'all. But I'm a, I can't. It's it's ready for me to add cheese in. I'm just gonna turn that on a low, low, low. Cause one thing's about this um old fashioned grits, honey, they will not overcook like that. Okay, now let's get back and making this um sauce. Okay. Next, we're gonna add our butter. Add my butter. Come on now. Come on now. And 
And then we're going to add the cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. I said one teaspoon, but you know what? If you don't like a lot of spicy stuff, don't add it. Do not add it. I'm just going to add like a, a little tap. It's not going to be no one teaspoon. I'm just going to add a little because my husband don't too much care for spicy stuff. It probably won't even half a teaspoon. And then that one teaspoon of hot sauce. So it calls for one teaspoon. I'm going to add a half. I'm just going to add a little a couple of drops. That's it. And I'm going to add a little black pepper. Just a little tap. I'm going to add like that. That ain't even half a teaspoon. I just add a little because my husband likes a whole lot of spicy stuff. I do at times, but sometimes you have that reflux. You can't be adding all that spicy stuff. But I don't have that now, but I did at one point. I did at one point. And I'm going to stir this all together. Make sure that butter is stirred in there. That gravy smells good. And if it's too thick, you can add in a little more, a little bit more chicken stock to it. If it's too thin, add you a little bit more of that um cornstarch. And then we're gonna add the little kosher stock. I almost forgot about it. And I got it right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that kosher salt. It was coarse and I had to thin it down. I almost forgot about my kosher salt. Okay, now we're going to put our shrimp back in here. Let me grab the shrimp. I had it covered up. going to let that cook. I'm going to turn this on medium. And we're going to let this shrimp cook in there. And we're going to add some of that bacon. And I already cut my bacon up. We're going to add a little of it because we want to save a little bit for garnishing on top. And we want to, I cooked it for like one half minutes on each side because you don't want to overcook shrimp because then it begin to be tough. And I'm going to put a little bacon on it. Turn this down a little low. Let that cook for like three to four minutes. Before I turn the heat off, the next up, set timer for three minutes. Alexa, set timer for three minutes.
Now we're going to see about my grits. Okay, I'm going to put this cheese in, and I did get me some, um, put your favorite cheese in. And one of my favorite cheese is the sharp cheddar. So I did cut me some off the block. Turn this shrimp off because it's ready. Stir this in. Use whatever kind of cheese you like. I love Kobe and I love cheddar. One time I had made some grits. I used like different, six different kinds of cheeses. And it's good. So I'm not going to um, shred that off like that. I'm just going to cut some, some of the cheese off in it. This grits is ready. So a piece of cheese and I'm dropping grits everywhere. I don't like to be cleaning my stove. I so bad have no too much clean up. Stir that in there. Kobe Jack cheese and that sharp cheddar cheese. And this is how your grits need to look. Let me get closer. See the texture of it. See a little creamy. A little creamy before I even add the cheese in it, but it's even creamier now. You can tell that's some good grits. Add your side accordingly. Now I'm getting ready to plate my food. Okay. I almost forgot one of the ingredients out, and that's the parsley flakes. So I'm going to sprinkle on. You got some fresh parsley flakes. Use it. But I don't. And guess what? You don't have to either. And I'm gonna spread this around. And I'm gonna get ready to plate this. And now I'm gonna spoon in some of my shrimp and that gravy. Then you want to add some little bacon across the top. Throw pieces. And there you have it. Hey, that gravy that I made for those cheese and grits are delicious. So go ahead and try it. With that shrimp in it and the bacon, all the other ingredients. Make that gravy super delicious, I'm telling you. So if you'd like to have the recipe, just look down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And anytime that I might stream live or upload a video, just hit that notification bell. And as always, have a blessed and wonderful day. This is your girl, Felicia. Bye.